Hey guys, as someone who has a lot of these booster boxes, it is, you know, like I said, the buy list is the real price. Um, many times you actually have more than one box, maybe more than two boxes, right? So where are you going to sell them all? You're going to wait for a year. Liquidity is something that is very important in our card game, especially if you are an investor. The S&P 500, for instance, you can buy today and you can sell it today. You can buy it one minute from here, order filled and fidelity, and then you can sell it. That is the very, very definition of liquidity. Now, it is very difficult to sell booster boxes. Many times the conditioning does matter a lot. And you send the box op over, they open the box, they say, oh, I received an open box, and they file a refund with eBay, and of course eBay will give it to them or Amazon. There are a lot of scammers out there. There are a lot of scammers out there and they will blank you in the blank because they don't have, again, they don't see you to face. They're not a real customer in many aspects. I don't sell online anymore uh, because after I heard about the Black Lotus event where he sold it to, again, you can't control who bids on your cards on eBay or even on Amazon, right? So a Nazi, a new new Nazi with 30, 20 criminal convictions, including those from mail fraud. He buys your Black Lotus. He then goes on Daniel Chang's channel, which, who's an Asian. It's really awkward. You know, you ask why I don't talk to Daniel Chang anymore. Um, it's because of that. You know, and I, I think I've been very honest in the past about that. But I just didn't like the way that shook down with the Black Lotus scam uh, on eBay. I hated the way that that went down. Um, and, you know, it's from Urban Source. How to lose 884.99.99 saying goodbye to black, my Black Lotus. This was probably one of, this three years ago. Probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen, honestly, in, in terms of Magic the Gathering. The dude sends it out. He ships it. I fully believe it is a real Black Lotus. He ships it to this individual. He needs the money. COVID-19 is hitting him pretty hard. And dude receiving it, dude bidding on it, obviously got to keep a real Black Lotus and gets to fund his Nazism using Magic the Gathering cards. No one talks about it because it's poor taste for magic, right? But that's exactly what happened. Uh, his uh, channel is Urban Source. He made four videos on it. It's probably the saddest videos I've ever seen in my life. Not because I feel, I mean, because obviously he just got scammed by that dude. There is risk in selling this stuff, right? And it's not even worth all that much money. Uh, Zenicar Rising Draft at 60, Modern Masters 217 at 165. None of these things are up. Dragons at 80, Double Featured 105, Core Set 2021 at 60. And the buy list, I mean, you can look at the limit on them too, the quantity. They don't even want that many. People are like, oh, these prices are low. No, 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 no. It's the limit that you worry about more. But dude, so if you have, let's say, 20 boxes of Ravnica Allegiance and the limit is four. What they're saying is to us, the fifth box isn't even worth this much. And that should really scare you, right? I, I mean, Kaldenheim, they got at $40. 40 Journey to Nick, 75. I mean, these are, and people, oh, it's, it's a buy list. Don't worry, guys, you can sell it. Yes, you sell on eBay. You have to pay fees. You have scammers like that Nazi dude. You, you got a lot of risk. As opposed to shipping this all off and you know having Card Kingdom deal with it, I do overall think this was one of the worst investments I've ever made in my life, and I regret it a lot because it takes up a lot of space. And I honestly could have just bought Pokemon cards instead. Like I could have took that money. I think it was like thirty thousand, forty thousand times free collect, so over one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and just bought more Pokemon cards and I would have been way, way better off than I am today. None of these boxes, in my opinion, if I lost them or set them on fire, I would be too heartbroken over because they don't have real connection to me. And that's the problem. They just sit there. 
to sit there. I never play with the boxes, obviously. I, how can I play in our singles, right? They don't really have a collect. They don't really have a connection to like me. Um, I don't have any sentimental value to a, a, a box. It's just a box, right? It's no different than a moving box, in my opinion. And I don't really know like what collectors are out there that are really um, doing a good job on it. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like what's like why you would collect these if they continue to go down. If your idea is they will continue to go up in price and these cards, you know, and then boxes one day will be very valuable, very scarce, very rare. And, you know, you bought a box for 100 and now it's like 700 like on Visions, which you had to wait like 225 years for. <laughs> oh, man. But you look at the modern, the modern matches at 175, man. That's 2015. It's almost 10 years. It's still at 175. I think it started at like 299, right? I mean, Modern Masters 2015 was hot. It's got those uh, cardboard when Wizard Coach wanted to damage their cards because they thought it was recycling. It's just, it is bizarre. It's bizarre for many reasons. And, you know, the number one reason I think it's so weird to me personally is because no one, it's interesting, you, 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 you're under the impression that like this stuff is really easy to move, man. I've been trying to move it forever, and all I get is like ten percent. People like people think the buy list is bad, man. Wait till you like try to sell this shit. The low ballers that like will come, they're gonna offer you ten. I mean, obviously alpha investment. Um, anyway, um, they're gonna just low ball the 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 shit out of you, man. I mean, there's nothing that you can. I mean, I mean, I would just put it this way, like. You think the buy list is bad? Wait till you actually engage with the quote community who's interested in buying this. They their prices are much worse, and it's like, wait, how can you offer worse than buy? It's it's funny, right? If you go to your local game store, of course they have overhead and so on, right? But the majority of people buying these boxes are people who don't uh, have that overhead and are just trying to get like a really good deal on some of these boxes. So overall, I, I do think that I'm I'm happy I have the boxes because I can open them. I open them with my friends. I open them with my girlfriend. We have fun opening it and looking at the artwork. But I can tell you like none of the boxes are like anything close to being valuable. Um, over time, they just decay and decay as new and stronger cards and better cards and shinier cards and more serialized numbers. Like none of the boxes I have have serialized numbers. And the collector's editions just sit there and, I mean, my God, they just lose value. No one wants this shit, man. No one wants your booster box. And it's really obvious why they don't want it. Um, it doesn't, they're just going to reprint a better version of it. So let me repeat again. They will just reprint a better version of it. That's it. That's why no one wants it. Because if you thought, hey, I want War of the Sparks, that's going to go up in price. Nah, man, they're going to print, like, War of the Sparks 2.0. It'll have, like, five different rares in it. They'll charge a little bit more money, over $100. And, like, every pack will have, like, a plane, uh, have at least 10 Mythics in it. That's the way this game is heading. The game is, uh, I mean, you look at uh, even Prophecy, right? I remember when... They have uh, Chinese. There's like one of the sets that had Chinese booster packs. They're still like worthless today. <laughs>